John here, and this, this is Michael, my partner. Well, I, I guess I'll start from the beginning. What we do to, uh, to start this stuff, we take a mushroom and cut the stem off of it and lay it on a piece of paper and uh, leave it overnight. And the next day we come in and pick it up and it's a spore print. We can draw spores on this paper. And we take that and we, we rake it off into a petri dish that's full of uh, gelatin and, and body moss, some kind of nitrogen source. And we set that, we do this in the sterile lab, which is back there behind you. We wait about a week till it turns white. Then we take that and cut it up into wedges. We drop it into jars of sterilized wheat. If we pressure cook it out here. And then maybe a week or so after that, all that turns white, and that's what we call spawn. And we take that spawn and we put it on sterilized straw, which we got some back there going right now. We mix it all up, we stick it in a bag, a paper or a plastic bag, punch holes in it, set back and grow, and it grows up. A little bit more involved in growing a tomato. <laughs> the bag is uh, inoculated and spawned with uh, the mycelium here, which is the main, the major body of the, the mushroom. The mushroom is just the fruit body. And over the course of the two weeks, the, uh, the mycelium will, uh, will engulf the entire bag, as you see here. And the uh, mushrooms come out of these little holes that we have searching for oxygen as, uh, as they free. I didn't have an expectation, um, and I'm really glad because I am blown away with what you have going on here. And we're so excited. You guys come back anytime you want. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's going to be good, good eating tonight. Okay. <laughs>